Do you want us to recommend any? <laughs> Rod, you bet. No, I have not. What was the thing you were just talking about? You said a short, during the break, short science fiction oh. piece by... Oh, it was a story by Ted Thomas called uh, Day of Succession. It's a very short story about the invasion of Earth and the president of the United States uh, is a pacifist and he refuses to take the necessary action and uh, the chief of staff, I think it is, besides the only thing to save the world is to shoot the president and the vice president and then he turns to the speaker and says, Mr. President, time is very short, do the following action. And that was the first time I realized that the third man was the speaker of the house. You know, Adam Clayton Powell used to, used to say, I never knew if it was semi-serious or not with him, but he used to say the right combination of events because of the highest position he was in at one point, he could have been president. Uh, it would have been an extremely complicated thing that would have to have happened, but um, it, so, the, so a black man president, uh, well, it, that would have been much farther down than the man in your plot. Yeah, would be, yeah. Chris, when Wallace wrote the book, the concept of, uh, of a black man serving in a high federal public office was unheard of, really. And now, of course, it's not nearly as bizarre an attitude at all. Or a black woman. Think, or a black woman. Black woman. It's interesting at this convention, the Democratic convention, the number of black people there, and in, in very important roles. Willie Brown in uh, California. Yeah. It was a, as a matter of fact, it was a very notable and noticeable to me too. thing. Just, Did you feel women made great strides at the convention? I think, well, there were 40% of the delegates were women, which was a great plus, but I think that women probably out of the block did more poorly than anybody else. They were l less effective in what they tried to do, but that won't happen again. They learned quite good men. They learned a lot this time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they'll be dumped on again. As a science fiction story ever started, I had this idea this afternoon that we get a radio message from outer space. It's a voice, which was probably very good. And it speaks English, unfortunately, uh, which makes it a little unlikely. But there's no message from our sponsor. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it says you are about to be attacked. And I am risking everything by getting this message to Earth. And there's a way you should prepare for the attack. It is planned, and it's going into the final stages. And then the voice says, oh, what? Uh, no, I, I'm only testing this equipment. Uh, no, I'm only... Uh, 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 and then there's silence. I wish it was right at first, Rod. Arthur, I, I yield to you. Oh, 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 yeah. no, in, in it sounds as good in the telling, but... Um, in, in, a way, in a way, the ending of H.G. Wells' first minute in the moon with these messages from Kavor. That was written when the first wireless experiments were being done by Marconi back in 1898 or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And he had messages from the moon. Uh, and, and in fact, the sunlight closed in on him and presumably kill him. And the last, that's the last message. So H.G. Wells there, was there first. There was uh, a classic radio show called The Next Voice You Hear, uh, which I think bordered on that theme in some way. Voice from outer Actually, it turned out to be the voice of God, unless I'm mistaken, but they assumed it was a voice from outer space. Is this a new idea, you know, in this voice warning the Earth and then being cut off, and then we don't know? I think so. Where to search in space, or where the I message don't know came the specific, from? I don't know the specific uh, idea. Quite a good one. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, it's nothing, really. I, just, I toss these things off. I, oh, we're, we're being tossed off by a message. We'll be right back.